Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn three different variable actions. One is merge list, second one subtract list, and third one find common list items. All right, before going to start working with these variables, first we will understand how they will look like. First, we will see what is merge list. Let us assume I'm having two employee lists in the organization. If you see on my screen, I'm having two employee lists, that is first one, IT employee list, another one non-IT employee list. In the employee list, I'm having three names, that is James, Vishwa, and Amir. In non-IT employee list, I'm having Sarath, Swati, and Vishwa. Now, I want to match these two lists, and I will show it as a one output list, that is match list, how it will look like. If you see, the data is going to be merged, and then it is going to be displayed as the first list along with that, the second list, it is going to be merged and then it is going to show as an output over here. But if you observe, the thing is that the list two, that is non-IT employee list, I'm going to merge with first employee list, that is IT employee list. Then I'm going to get the output as James, Vishwa, Amir, Sarah, Swati, and Vishwa. But what if the list one is going to be merged with non-employee list, that is list two. Then we'll get an output as Sarat, Swati, Vishwa, and later on that we'll get it as James, Vishwa, and Amir. That is how we, it is going to be matching. Like if you want to match the list two items with the list one or list one items with the list two based on that, the order will change and it will both will match as a single list. Now, we'll talk about the find common list items. If you see in the same way, I'm having list one, that is IT employee list, another list, list two with the name of non IT employee list. If you see, I want to find the both common list items in the two lists, then how can we go ahead and do that by using find common list item action so that based on that, what we'll get, what are the common values that we're having in the both the list that we will make it as a single list of the common items. Over here, if you see in the IT employee list, I'm having Vishwa and non-IT employee list also I'm having Vishwa. Then the output will come to the common list that is Vishwa. It is a kind of intersection list that we can call it to find the common list of items in the both the list. Now we'll talk about the subtract list. Now, if you see, in the same way, I'm having two lists, that is list one, IT employee list, another one, non-IT employee list. So, now I want to subtract non-IT employee list from the IT employee list, then what are the common values that will be, you know, removed, and then we'll display the values. If you see, what I'm going to do, the list two, I'm going to subtract from the IT employee list. That is what we are having in the common. You can see Vishwa Vishwa is there. And then we are going to display the first list that is James and Amir. Now, if you're going to subtract list one from the list two, then you will get Sarath and Swati because of the common name we are having as Vishwa over here. And then it will show you Sarath and Swati. All right, I hope you understand theoretically how to use merge list, subtract list, and find common list items. Now, I will show you practically how it will looks like. All right, without wasting time, let's get started. Let me switch to Power Automate Desktop. I have, as I have shown you already in the theoretical part, I have created two lists over here. One, if you see, IT employee list, another one, non-IT employee list. For the IT employee list, I have added James, Vishwa, and Amir. You can see over here the list of the names over. The list names you can see as the IT employee list. For the non-IT that you can see, Sharath, Vishwa, and Swati. Now, as a first variable action that I want to merge these two lists, how can I go ahead and do that? There is a variable action called merge list. Let me drag and drop this merge list onto the workspace. And there, if you see the parameters, first list. What is the first list? Now, I want to select the first list, that is IT employee list, let assume. So I'm going to join the second list with the first list. Then I'm going to select the second list over here as non-IT list. 
So what will happen? First, it will get all the values of the IT employee list and then it will come to the non-IT employee list. Let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now, if you see the merge list having the output of output list over here. Now, to display the values what we are having in the merge list that I am going to display in the message box, that is display message. Let me double click on that. And now I'm going to give the message to display as output list. Now let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now let me run the flow. Now if you see, the flow has been executed successfully and you can see the output first list that is, you know, James, Vishwa, Amir on, the, on that it has been added over here like Sarath, Vishwa and Swati. Because of in the merge list that we have given first list as the IT employee list with non-IT employee list and then we are going to creating an output list that is, this is the result list. All right, let me click on OK. Now let me make the changes in the merge list over here. Now I'm going to select first list as non-employee list and second list as IT employee list. Now what will happen first, the non-IT employees will come and then it will match the, you know, the second list that is IT employee list will match to the first list. Now let me go, let me click on save. Now let me run the flow once again. And now if you see, Sarath, Vishwa, Swati, that is a non-IT employee list and then James, Vishwa, Amir has came out here as the IT employee list. That is merging the list with, uh, merging the list, non-IT employee list with IT employee list. Let me click on OK. I hope you understand how to merge multiple lists as a single list by using merge list action. Let me click on OK. Now, as the second action, we are going to work with find common list items variable action. Let me go ahead and let me disable this merge list from the workspace by clicking on disable action. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop this find common list items that is action onto the workspace after add list items. Now in the same way it is asking first list, what is the first list? Now if you see, I'm going to select the first list as IT employees, another one, second list over here as non-IT employees. We'll find the common items list in the both of the lists. That is, if you see in the intersection list, we'll get the output. All right, let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now, in the display message, what I'm going to do, that intersection list that I'm going to display over here. Let me double click, and I'm then, you know, message to display, I'm going to select the select the flow variable over here as intersection list and then let me go ahead and me click on save. Now let's run the flow. If you observe over here in the both the list I'm having common name that is Vishwa. Right? That's the reason it is showing intersection list as Vishwa. If you see over here you have to observe one thing that Vishwa over here is in the both the list I'm having uppercase of the values like V and V but if you found any difference over there in any one of the character, it will be, it won't display as a common value. Let us assume, I will give you one example over here. If you see over here, the Vishwa is uppercase of V, right? Now I will make it as small V, that is lowercase of V, and then I'm going to click on save. So it will be considered as a unique value over there, and then there's no common values in the both the list, right? So that it won't display any values over here. Let me go ahead, let me click on run. Now, if you see the result list that I'm having null, that is nothing it has been. There's no common values in the both the list because of, if you see, it will be considered as a unique value that is lower case of Vishwa, and this is the higher case of Vishwa. That's the reason it is showing as blank over here. All right, now let me click on okay. I hope you understand how to find the common list items from the both the list by using find common list items action. Now I have rolled back the changes over here for the Vishwa because of there is one more action that we are having that is subtract list. If you see over here, before going to work with this, let me disable this find common list items. Now let me drag and drop the subtract list variable action onto the workspace. Now, if you see, what is the first list? So before going that from which list to another list that I want to subtract. Now let us assume 
I want to subtract non-IT employees from the IT employees. That is list two from list one. So how can I go ahead and do that? First of all, what is the first list that I'm going to select? IT employees list. And the one subtract one is the second list that is non-IT employees. Now let me go ahead, let me click on save. Before that, you can see the difference, list difference, you can find it over here. That is the output it is going to be generating. Now, if you see in the flow variables, it will come as a list difference. Now, let me click on save. Now, the same list difference list I am going to display in the display message. Now, let me select the flow variable as list difference. And let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow. And if you see right now, as discussed in the list, in the IT employee list, I'm having James, Viswa, Amir. So in the, uh, from the IT employee list, I'm going to subtract Sharad, Vishwa, and Swati. But the common names only subtract, and then you know it is subtracting from the list one that is IT employee list, so that you will get only the names of James and Amir. Now let me reverse this by selecting uh, by changing the order in the first list. Now in the first list, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select non-employee list. And as a second list, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select IT employee list. Now let me go ahead, let me click on save. Let's run the flow once again. Now if you see, I'm going to subtract the list that is IT employee list from the non-IT employee list. So that you know, what is the non-IT employee list that we are having, Sarath, Vishwa and Swati. So that from that list that I'm going to remove Vishwa from the IT employee list, so that you will get the output as Sarath and Swati. Let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with merge list, subtract list, and find common list items actions as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.